Aries, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to say that we're not so good with uh, new beginnings. And here you have the Ace of Pentacles uh, popping up. Okay, um, I wanted to say that for Pisces season, um, it's not so easy for Aries um, to close things or terminate certain um, elements that are maybe running some chaos in, uh, in your life or uh, bringing in instability. Uh, being a cardinal sign for you, the most easy thing to do or natural in a way would be to start off new things. And here for the Aries uh, season, I hope uh, I hope you cleaned uh, your uh, attic, your closet of skeletons, or uh, your psyche of negative influences in uh, Pisces uh, season, and. Now, I feel here with the Ace of Pentacles that um, after putting away all these negative influences, you actually feel like there's uh, hope, like there's a seed of something new. Um, the only thing with it is that you need to put it to the ground in a way. Uh, so this would mean for you that during your season, uh, you should start to um, start to put your seed to the ground. Uh, I'm not talking about going full throttle with the whole project. Um, maybe out of uh, lack of time or resources, maybe you're not able to fully um, embark on this uh, new project. Uh, but even so, even for those of you who feel like you're restricted in a way from this new beginning, uh, try at least and give it some sort of physical form. Okay, so you have the idea inside of you, you see it, you imagine it, you see it uh, very vivid. Okay, so I'm talking colors, I'm talking shapes, um, whatever, uh, however... Uh, you see this new beginning in your imagination, uh, try in your season to do something physical. Either write it down on a piece of paper or, um, I don't know, to give an example, <clears throat> uh, if this new seed would be to uh, buy a car, okay? Uh, I would advise if you're not going to buy the car per se in uh, every season at least uh, try to i don't know buy something small and symbolic at the same time which would uh, hint at the fact that you now are a car or owner so let's say like a car freshener or something of the sorts okay and keep it on handy like somewhere exposed somewhere on a table or um I don't know, somewhere uh, where you put things to take them to the car. So this is one example, okay? Whatever happens with you in uh, every seasons, uh, season, try and give a, a physical form to your new endeavor here, to your new plan, to this uh, beautiful new beginning. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles also talks about, um, let's say, the um, ovule, okay? So, like, a woman's uh, fertility. Uh, for, for those of you who have no intention of uh, building up a family right now, I would suggest to uh, take extra caution, okay? When dealing with... Uh, intimate uh, aspects okay so we have a new beginning for you Aries a new beginning okay so too many cards here but we have the nine of Pentacles which popped out on its own here so these of Pentacles together with the nine of Pentacles I see you being 
uh, very fine on your own. Um, you're doing great. The grass is green, but I feel some sort of a boredom here. Okay, so we have pentacles. We have the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. So this normally this adds up to a ten of pentacles in two cards. It's pretty clear. It's clear as uh, daylight. Okay. So, in this given situation, what you need to do, um, this also be maybe the reason for which you feel restless, uh, is the fact that you just exude this um, stability about you, this independence, this um, abundance, okay? Because the Nine of Pentacles, it's... It's kind of a singles card, but it's a bachelor or a bachelorette type of energy. So you have most of the things that you need here. You also have the seed for a new beginning, but I just see you being in this very uh, creative energy, this very abundant energy. And again, I feel this sort of a boredom. It's like... So I'm independent. Okay, so I have this new idea. Okay, so everything is going fine. There may also be something from your past that is giving you this sort of bitter uh, taste in your mouth. It's like maybe some of you Aries have gotten to this position here at the expense of some situation that you used to have in the past. So uh, since we are looking at the Nine of Pentacles as the singles card, um, <clears throat> I get the feeling that maybe you may have been uh, up until uh, every season, maybe you were in a relationship, okay, that, which was not very... Um, it's not very good for you and maybe stepping out of that relationship you find yourself in this ace of pentacles nine of pentacles energy where it's like i have the essence of it okay i want to build something with someone uh but look at me now how independent and strong i am and it's not like i actually need someone but it would be nice to for some of you, uh, this feeling may be a bit shallow, okay? Because uh, maybe you're actually fine on uh, your own, you know? And uh, some of you will get this feeling of like, you know when you're snacking? When you get that sweet tooth for something, I feel something of the sorts happening here where some of my Aries are so well off that they maybe feel this mischievous um, mischievous uh, feeling where they would just get involved in something that is not quite help healthy only for the sake of not being alone. Aries, it's like, for some of you, this feeling will be very powerful. Like sitting on your own, on top of the world. And it's like nothing can touch you there. Okay, you have all the necessary elements. And as I was previously saying, our Aries cannot hold still. And they will make some sort of a romantic gesture in one direction. Here I have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups talks about a person who has some sort of emotional maturity, okay? Because we have the Cups. Cups are representative of water. Water represents emotions, okay? Um, so my Aries in... Uh, your own season it looks like maybe, i don't know how many of you actually had the time to process what has happened okay in up until pisces season 
But now I clearly see this this energy of the Knight of Cups where you just get up and go. Okay, you will try again. Love will be yours in a way. And I'm getting this strong feeling because here we have uh pentacles and here we have water so for this in order for this seed uh to grow uh we need someone to take uh charge and bring like this chalice of water okay to um nurture uh the new the new seed which we have here so this may talk about another person in your life who is giving it another go or it may very well just talk about you um for the first category where the knight of cups here is indeed someone else i think you are just left with uh looking into the sun after this person is leaving okay uh, because I see you, I feel you here with the Ace of Pentacles and uh, the Nine of Pentacles. So you already have all the necessary elements to create a beautiful life. Yet this Knight of Cups, this uh, person maybe which uh, held your heart for a very long time, is coming out of these emotional waters with you. They are... Uh, fully armored okay they cannot see like a lot of things but they do believe in the power of love because they hold this chalice very uh, up high and mighty uh, if there's no one in uh, your life at the current moment this may very well be you where uh, just sitting here does not do it for you so uh, you're stepping quite rapidly from this nine of pentacles which is sort of a semi-stagnant energy okay it's not an active energy because the nine of pentacles is somewhat self-sufficient in its way as an energy uh, but you may be coming out of this uh, self-sufficiency and uh, trying again okay from an emotional point of view so the Nine of Cups is one of the knights that moves uh, slower, okay? You would have the Wind and the Fire being the most quickest knights. The Cups and uh, the Pentacle Knights are the slower moving ones, okay? Um, so you're taking a leap of faith, but you're doing on your own terms. So I don't feel anything being rushed here in it anyway yes this is indicative of some sort of a forward movement some action but it's not that uh quick okay so this is something that may have been brewing for a while um if this talks about you aries i think you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do you're fine in yourself, you have this new idea, maybe you want a new relationship, and with the Knight of Cups here, I see some sort of movement towards this uh, goal that you want, uh, moving towards love. Okay, for the other uh, category, you may, yeah, for the other category, it seems like your Knight of Cups is moving towards to the High Priestess, okay? Um, for those areas of you who are seeing someone uh, leave your life in Aries seasons or Pisces or Taurus, um, there's nothing much that you can do here because from what I see, the person in uh, the Knight of Cups is sort of looking at this uh, squirrel, which has like a black uh, hood over its head. So I'm, I'm almost seeing you looking at a situation and you realize that it's already done, it's already dead in a way, it's final. 
Okay, so uh, it's like you're almost keeping or shielding your soul here, holding yourself up high in this uh, self-sufficient energy of the nine of pentacles. Together you have a ten of pentacles, so I'm actually not worried about you so much. Um, I'm worried only that uh, you have this stance where uh, you're unfazed in a way by this person leaving your side and heading towards uh, to the high priestess. Now, the high priestess, this would be a person which is in tune with uh, the spiritual world. Uh, this is uh, a person which is not that in tune with the social norm, okay? Uh, the high priestess only cares for what she feels inside. She doesn't take other people's uh, opinion into consideration because uh, knowledge existence or the divine just flows through her all the time and she is connected like uh, like this to to other uh, realms, okay? Um, she has somewhat integrated the black and the white inside of her, so we already are talking about a person who is of high uh, knowledge. Um, many of the times it's like a witch person. This is a person which does not uh, communicate that much. Uh, all the communication is done within a high priestess type of person. And as you can see here in this deck, she is depicted like uh, almost made of stone. It's like a monolith just sitting there. So coming back to what we were discussing earlier, um, if this uh, Knight of Cups, your significant other, your uh, partner, um, is moving away in the month of um, April, um, I would suggest just letting this person go because I see you being completely fine, okay? Completely fine. Uh, I am not aware and I did not uh, pull out extra cards to see what exactly happened in the past between you and this person. Uh, but at the current state, they're just trying it again. It's like this Knight of Cups is coming out from murky waters. Uh, it's sort of a um, baptism of the heart moment. And this person is heading straight towards a high priestess. So... What I understand is the fact that your partner may have been uh, looking for um, someone more spiritual or they have something to learn together with this uh, high priestess here. Um, the combination is not is somewhat good and at the same time seems sort of difficult because this person here does not see where they're going exactly. They're like uh, love blind and this person here is somewhat not existing in this world. We only see like a shell of this person. So they're both in their spiritual emotional sides at the same time. So you have the good and the bad. I don't know what to say exactly about this match right here. But for those of you Aries who are looking for someone and this Knight of Cups is exactly you, um, you're heading here towards the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess would be a very witchy type of person, mystical, uh, 